Hello folks. If you're wondering where I've been, I've been away. Yeah, I've been away. And as much as I tried to set things up and do things automatically so you could still see some stuff as to what had been going on, I failed miserably. Anyway, I'm back, but let's catch up with the last few things I did before I went away. So watch this. <laughs> Hey everyone. So today I said, do you remember, we've got those bricks under that window. I'll show you where they are in a second. Uh, but I'm gonna mix up some mortar and just go up and try and put those things back in there. And then we can nail down that floorboard and move on to the next bit. Oh, it's all exciting stuff. Here we go. A motor. Let's get in here. Not the greatest sound for this. Let's go add a bit of water and go see if we can put those bricks in. Oh, by the way, look, this is, I've just got this kit because I want to use these tiny sharp ends. All those horrible little um, phone cable pins um, that are nails that are nailed in. I want to use one of these, hopefully be able to lever it out really easily. That's the plan. So we'll do this and mix up the mortar. So there's the, the bit with the bricks missing. And I'm going to just try and mix a bit of mortar, put them in, and then maybe squirt some stuff in there. Now, I know that this isn't decent mortar. It's a bit naff. Using sharp sand doesn't really work. It's more for kind of concretey type things, but I just want it in. It's what I had. I'm not gonna go another trip to get a bag of builder's sand. Um, so we're gonna use this.
Well, that was awkward. <laughs> Trying to get those bricks in. Not easy. Anyway, I'm gonna let that go off and then I'm gonna squirt a bit of expandable foam behind it. Don't wanna do that now because it will push the bricks apart. That's really annoying, is that? Now you see, they took those bricks out. Don't know if you remember, they took those bricks out so they could run. There is a bit of a cavity on this back wall, but it's an inch and there's nothing in it. It's just two courses of bricks. And they took some bricks out so they could run some cables down that appeared near the back door that did the boiler, outside light and things like that. But yeah, really awkward. I could have cut loads more floorboards and got in and all the rest of it, but now they're under the skirting boards. So again, another example of things out of sequence, potentially, and probably something I should have done absolutely ages ago. But it's one of those things that you keep, I kept moving these bricks, thinking, what are those bricks for? And then yeah, finally you remember, don't you? Anyway, next job, I think the paint's pretty dry in here. Next job is to try and find the bits of wood that fill these holes so the floorboards are ready to go back in. I'm going to end up with about 15 bits of floorboard, about five holes, and none of the bits fit the holes. Fiddly. Fiddly, awkward little jobs. They all need doing, but they're not as exciting as the big things. Mind you, we've got some big things coming up. Uh, we've still got to do the kitchen. Um, We've got the bathroom, we've got some stuff in there, needs doing, need to build a bath panel and uh, do some coving, uh, seal it in and uh, do some skirting board in there. So there are some still some big things. And then upstairs in Matthew's lair, uh, we've got the drop the ceiling, insulate, maybe put a roof light in, a skylight. You know, if you say it quickly, I say this all the time. If you say it quickly, it doesn't sound that hard, does it? Yeah, we'll just put a roof light in. Yeah, easy. Right, that's what I mean. That is not the piece that was there. fits but it doesn't fit and that's that's just wrong that's just a wrong piece of wood to go in there all right i need to find all the bits of wood clear all this up and see if we can fit the floor just love it nobody loves it more than me not at the moment anyway hey eh? 